it's an album to me because uh, it's different from my other albums, but uh, it still has a concept that I went with um, titled Mr. Roy G. Biv. All the songs are based on a color, the color to describe a mood. So um, it's a little bit different and like that's what like glues it all together. But, you know, once you listen, you'll hear different songs, different moods, different lyrics and, you know, different vibes. This title, this idea with the colors, is this something you came up with or somebody coined for you? Yeah, uh, Mr. Roy G. Biv is an acronym for the color spectrum, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And uh, I have a graphic design background. So all of my albums and stuff have been named after uh, colors, like things like swatches, black, gray. So um, they've been based off colors and moods. And so this one, combines like all those different moves together. But um, yeah, I got a graphic design background and, and you know, just, just bringing like me to, to my music. And did you also do the graphics, the cover art for this project as well? Yeah, yeah I created the art for it. Explain the artwork concept here. Um, so like I said, all the songs have their own color. Um, so like, it's cool. The breakup song that I'm known for, um, you know, is blue. So, you know, cool, blue, ice, cold, whatever. So, um, yeah, you put that together. Red, family, blood. Um, yeah, all the colors add up. And so you just have the different squares that make up the album cover. So each color, each of the nine colors that's on the front album cover represents a different song. And there's nine songs. Yeah, nine songs, nine colors on the cover. And the artwork concept, that's something that you did and you also came up with as well. Yeah, yeah, it's something that I came up with because of uh, my passion. Uh, like um, doing the graphics and photography and videography, um, I just put all of my skills into the music thing, you know. Um, sometimes I pay people, but a lot of times I can just handle that myself. Um, for a minute, I was working at Patchwork Studios uh, in 2018, like as a graphic design intern. And so um, while I was there, that just really, it motivated me being around, you know, people in the industry, stuff like that. It just taught me how to move and then um, just, just handle myself. And so, you know, it always be somebody coming through and they dropping names, oh, so-and-so here, so-and-so here. And from that, um, as an intern, I was like, let me finish my time. Was making music before, but I was like, you know, I learned something, let me move on and get back to it. And then that's when I dropped the uh, It's Cool with a whole new mindset. And when I started pushing that song, like I saw success. How long did the internship last for? Internship, it was like uh, four months, four or so months. You know, uh, beginning of the year through the, through the summer for the most part. Um, I think it was like 15 weeks or something. I had it marked on my calendar and um, I just did, you know, what they asked me to do or needed me to do. So whether it was graphics or, you know, um, working with the promotional side of the studio, uh, doing their events and things like that, taking out the trash, you know, whatever was needed to be done, you know, I was there to do it and um, met some dope people. Unpaid internship? Yeah, yeah, it was unpaid. You know, you know, that's how it goes. It's like a bartering system. You know, what can I do for you? What can you do for me? And so, you know, I gave them my services, my graphic di graphic design services and helped out, you know, um, with, you know, with people coming in out the studio. And then um, and in turn, I was able to, you know, experience what it's like, you know, being a part of the industry, like I said, seeing these different people and how to move. So I learned a lot, like, you know, the plaques on the wall and stuff. It, it's all fascinating when you first walk in, you know, to, to people. But the reality is, you know, when music, man, people move all over. So they do a piece here, piece there, piece there in that studio and it all comes together. So really you just got to get out there and uh, and get your own. So like I said, um, after I did my time, learned what I could from them, I was like, all right, you know, let's, let's move on and, and get to it myself. Why did it end? Oh. It, 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 like I said, I, I wanted to make music, you know, that's ultimately my passion. And so I feel like with, with anybody, you know, don't, you know, you take the time, sit down and learn. So with the studio, I was there, I was learning. And then uh, like I was making music before, wanted to make music after. Graphic design was not my, 
my full time thing. So, so you know, got to go pursue the dream. Could you eventually gotten a paid position? Yeah, I could have, because actually they said they they wanted me to stay. Um, but, but yeah, now nah, I say I, I I see myself somewhere else. I'm trying to be the greatest rapper ever. So, you know, with the messages in my lyrics and the the moves that I create and the content. I'm, I'm, I got a different mission, so. So does the internship, do you quit the actual internship? Oh, or no. does the internship just run its course like it's a set amount of time? Right, um, it's a set amount of time, and then of course you can renew, um, but I, I, I didn't renew, basically. So uh, yeah, I, yeah, I just went through it. like like. I'm per I try to be a man of my word, right? And so when I signed the thing, you know, it, it, to the term to uh, be an intern, I had them a certain amount of weeks. So I thugged it out, you know, rolled that out, did what I, what I said I was going to do, that and then some. And then once it was over, I just said, I appreciate you. I had a great time. And respectfully, you know, I'm moving on. I, I just didn't renew, you know. That's all. You don't get any studio time while you're <laughs> No, nah, I know, right? I wish it worked like that. But, but nah, man, you gotta pay like everybody else. But, but it was cool because I got comfortable with, with, with the whole, with the studio environment. Like I said, it was Patchwork Studios. So like, they're like world famous and, you know, a lot of dope stuff has been worked on there. But um, I, I was able to get familiar with the whole staff. So, you know, it was more like a family environment. So when I eventually did go in there to record songs for my album, Mr. Roy G. Biv, like, I knew what what um, what engineers that like I'm I'm cool with. I, I've seen them record from being in some of their sessions. Or I just hung around them and talked, so we had that chemistry enough. So like I see how they work. They know me, and so you know it's cool. So I went in there and uh, I knocked out my album that way, and I I knew all the engineers. So no discounts or nothing. That would have been nice, but but um I I was comfortable. You know I trust them like basically. And uh, what room did you actually use to record when you went back to Patchwork and you paid like everybody else for yeah. studio time? Oh yeah, ten ninety nine. I like that because it's it's the um, the um, the B room. It's smaller, you know. It's um, it's tight. It's it's more intimate. Versus you know the same. They got the big room. They got the smaller room. But um, that that B room is the right size, closed off. Just you and the engineer and whoever you bring in. And um, you know, just hop in the booth and and uh, let it all out. You know, that's like one of my favorite parts. You know, just uh, delivering them lines, and then that magic. Once you see it, once you like really hear it, you know, they put the effects and all sorts of things, compressors, all that on there, and like it sounds beautiful. Like you know, what you imagine. It's dope. What was that feeling like when you become the person in the studio recording, and you weren't? interning what was that feeling there like right right it was it was a cool little flip you know uh like a lot of things when you see somebody in a different set of shoes felt a little different a little funny but um before i was even an intern i had already been recording there occasionally oh yeah yeah i had recorded there every now and then so uh but but it was like it was just a different set of shoes so it was it was still cool going in there but but now the perspective flip from mine and theirs. So now they're looking at me like, like, you know, the money, this, this, another artist trying to shop with us.